Hello and welcome to SL Productions and in this video... Oh. Hello and welcome to SL Productions and in this video I will be previewing Series 11 Episode 3 of Doctor Who. <laughs> Which has this... Hello and welcome to SL Productions and my episode preview for Doctor Who Series 11 Episode 3. So yes, this episode airs this Sunday on BBC One and BBC One HD at 6.55pm GMT. So yes, what is this episode about? So this episode is set in Alabama in 1955 and the Doctor and her companions arrive during the bus boycott when black people protested by not getting on buses as they thought it was wrong and wanted equal rights because they could only sit in certain seats. So yes, this episode features many historical figures including Martin Luther King, who I didn't know was going to feature in this episode. So yeah, looking forward to Martin Luther King being in this episode. I don't know if it is the Martin Luther King who did the I Am A Dream speech as that is Martin Luther King Jr. So. Maybe it's his dad or something, I don't know. But anyway, Martin Luther King will be guest starring in this episode. Not Martin Luther King, but someone playing Martin Luther King. So yeah, looking forward to that. I have a dream that his acting will be authentic and great. So yes, this um, episode is directed by Mark Tondere, who directed the previous episode, The Ghost Monument. And his directing was overall pretty good. I loved his cinematography used in this episode. I loved the special effects. However, the action scenes seemed a bit messy in some places, so hopefully he can f perfect that in this episode. So yes, on to the future episodes. So yeah, before I get on to discussing the future episode titles, in episode 3, the Doctor and her companions will need to stop this time meddler from altering the historical events of the bus boycott. I don't know why there is a time meddler, but we'll have to wait and see in the episode. Maybe it's an ancestor, no, a descendant who ends up killing his family or something and they need to stop it or something like that. So yes, episode four is called The Arachnids in the UK. And this episode title reminds me a bit of Aliens of London and that is not a good thing. That is not a good thing as the episode in my opinion wasn't very good, but hopefully this episode will be better. And I think this episode features spiders, arachnids, so yeah, I reckon it does feature the spiders. Now episode 5 has a weird episode title, it is called The Saranja Conundrum. Don't know what that could mean, we'll have to wait and see. Now episode 6, the final episode title is called The Demons of Punjab. Maybe it features the demons from the Doctor Who story, The Demons, or something like that. So yes, episode 7, 8, or 9, or 10 may be called the Witch Finders, as that is one of the episode titles for an episode 7 onwards. So yeah, don't know what the Witch Finders could be about. Possibly witches. We'll have to wait and see. Don't know when the King John episode will be. Maybe that will be the Witch Finders. And there's also an episode fe uh, featuring Lee Mack. I think that might be Arachnids in the UK, as it is set in the present day. And Lee Mack in the Coming Soon trailer looked to be featuring in that episode. So yeah, on to the viewing figures, how many views do I think this episode will get? So The Woman Who Fell to Earth got overnight viewing figures of 8.2 million. They went up to 10.9 million in the week, and that means 2.7 million extra people watched that. So, other Dot 2 story, The Ghost Monument got overnight viewing figures of 7.1 million. So, presuming that 2.7 million watched that episode within this coming week, that will bring the viewing figures up to 9.8 million. That will be the first, second episode of Doctor Who to exceed the 9 million mark since the fires of Pompeii in the week after the episode. So yeah, I think it will definitely get over 9 million. It will definitely get 8 million. It will probably be in the high end of 8 million. So yeah. Looking forward to seeing what the viewing figures will be. But will the viewing figures go down for this episode? Possibly. Because the first episode of Doctor Who on IMDb got 7.8 million, 7.8 out of 10. The next episode only got 7 out of 10. So people may not be interested, so may not watch this episode, meaning that viewers will go down. 
but it will still probably get at least 6 million viewers overnight, which is incredible. That will be more than the pilot got altogether, which was the highest viewing figures in the entirety of series 10. Last series, it was amazing if there was overnight figures of 4 million, as most episodes got 4 million combined altogether after the week airing. So yeah, hopefully it will get good viewing figures, we'll have to wait and see. I reckon it will probably get viewing figures of around 8 million after tw um, 7 days, so yeah. Also, I want to mention that I do not like the new Next Time trailers for Doctor Who. They seem to be extremely short. The Next Time trailer for this episode was only 10 seconds long, and that excludes the final bit of the trailer with the Doctor Who logo. So yeah, 10 seconds long of footage, and yeah, very short, really, really short, and I do not like that about this episode. Also, not a purely historical story. A lot of people thought this was going to be a purely historical story. It isn't, but I do like a mixture of historical stories and sci-fi. I think the dynamic works really well and is really different. So yeah, moving on. So finally, before I end this episode preview, I just want to give my opinion on the new opening titles to Doctor Who. So yeah, I really do like the new opening titles. I do like the new opening music. However, I don't like that the series producer and the director on the opening titles, as it just feels wrong that they're on there, if you know what I mean. It should only be the writer, the episode title, and the main stars of the series, not the series producer and the director. They should be on after the opening titles, in the rolling credits after the opening titles. Also, the font, like I mentioned in the review, it is hard to see with the colours. You know, you can see it, but if you don't look closely, you can't see that. So yes, also a bit of trivia, the person who voiced the remnants in the Ghost Monument, Ian Gelder, also played Mr. Decker in Torchwood Children of Earth. He also appeared in Game of Thrones as Kevin Lannister. So yeah, that's a bit of trivia you may not know. So yeah, he's been in Doctor Who twice. So yeah. That is the end of this episode preview, and until the next time, goodbye!